Any respectable boat needs an equally respectable tender. I'm on one such tender today. This is the Sax 42. My name's Dan Jones, I'm from the Boat Brokerage, and today I'm gonna to give you a walkthrough. myself jumping on the bow uh, very eloquently but uh, I do have short legs not possible on this one she's a pretty big piece of kit so welcome on deck um, this boat I think the theme for today it's capability um, that's the feeling I'm getting out of this boat it's just full of capability because you come up here on the bow and you can do this with let's face it um, 10 people, I reckon, sitting around here, just lounging, enjoying this front deck. Not a problem whatsoever, because what we're looking at here is flexi-teak decking. So this stuff, if you're not familiar with this, it's been around for a while, but it's nice, soft, rubberized, teak-looking decks, which it's quite comfortable underfoot. So it can be cold weather, it can be warm weather, it maintains its temperature pretty consistently, and it's really comfortable to walk or sit on. So all of a sudden, it makes this ginormous area with the tubes on the side comfortable without deck cushions. The boat does have deck cushions, but you don't need them. So, you know, the faster you can get boating, the more time you can enjoy in the water. That's what I like about this category of boat, and this is certainly doing it for you. Um, but this is a walkthrough, so let's walk you through. Um, center console, I'm going to come back to that. I'm just going to try to walk my way up here. So um, what we might do, cameraman will go back this way and I'll go this way. We've got a nice little love seat up here for two people. The tubes are massive. This deck area, I'm just, I just hope you can get some perspective. I'll, you know, I'll lie down. That's, it's massive. Like this area is huge. So this is a wonderful sun baking area. And again, you can use this for lounging around. When you're up here in the bow, you can operate the anchor using these buttons here and here. The anchor, it's actually underneath the bow. So this is a style of boat that we can nudge up against a mothership and we've got the tubes out the front. We're not gonna damage it. So the anchor is not gonna interfere. You can access the anchor well or the anchor locker in here, like so. We've got some deck lights here and here. And then we've got a massive storage area just under here. So that will store surfboards, all sorts of gear. We'll cut to a shot of that. Um, and that's the perfect place for all your water toys. And this is, while I talk about it being attended to the mothership, it's an absolutely awesome day boat for fun activities. You know, I, I, I got this feeling when I was out there doing the test drive, I saw some guys on some foiling boards it's all the rage right now, everyone's doing it. What an amazing platform to do that sort of activity from. You could use this bow area for setting up your foils and you can use the open transom, which we're gonna to get to in a second, to launch from. So I think that's perfect. Just here, this is access into the cabin. So that's gonna give you another escape, but it's also some ventilation. Now I'm gonna go this way. So if you guys follow me and maybe look back towards me, I'll talk to you about what I see. The center console has got this beautiful stainless wrapping around. Now, I wasn't exactly sure its function until I pulled up on the beach here and had a, a closer look. But what you'll notice, you've got these two bars, one here and another big solid one out the back, ginormous roof racks. So like this will set you up for other activities, you know, you could, you could use this for storing rods, you could use it for storing boards and all sorts of other bits and pieces. VHF, horn, spotlight, um, anchor light, all mounted up there and navigation lights. And then as we come back, so you guys follow me and check out this spot. So what's nice about this is 
the way that this whole bimini has been set up. Really, really tight, really, really solid. So at speed, we did 33 knots, or about 32 and a half actually top speed. No flapping whatsoever. It feels like a solid roof. It curves down slightly on the edges, so you've got plenty of shade protection, but all the, all the views and ventilation through the side. And the driver has also got some protection just there. But firstly, while I'm here, I'll just talk about this area. So underway, all these passengers are below the sun bimini and they've got some shade and you'd probably have a little bit of protection if some light rain was coming down as well. You're gonna seat one, two, three, four, five, five blokes, I reckon, would sit here and maybe a few more ladies. And obviously you've got some sun lounging here and here. There is facility or a mount for a lunch table here. It currently doesn't have one, but the owner is sourcing a lunch table to put on the boat um, just there. Now, underneath these seats, we have some uh, storage and these seats are secured down with some Velcro tape so they don't go moving anywhere when the boat's underway. Um, come with me, we'll just go to the back of the boat before we go back to the middle. Look at this, like, I know I talk about outboards a lot, but, you can't forget about inboards because there really is a place for them in the boating world because you get this transom and you can have the diesel. Uh, I think that's an important thing to note because you know a lot of guys who want to be running uh, tenders to their big, big boats, they don't want petrol. You know, They don't want to be carting around petrol on their Explorer yacht. They want diesel um, for the capability, you know, the range that it gives you and for the safety factor. So, so that's an important thing, but also having this open transom just gives you so many options you know if you're backing into your house and you've only got poles and one of those little floaty docks this is going to be a much better way to get on and off the dock uh, than trying to duck around some outboards obviously i just mentioned the water sports water awesome place to do it from you know this boat doesn't make a big wake and it's not designed to so i, I see it as a as an excellent platform to launch yourself whether that's windsurfing the wing dingers or other activities um, possibly not wakeboarding because it just doesn't make much wake um, got a beautiful luxurious swim ladder i'm not going to put it in the water but look how big that is nice timber steps here and somewhere to pull your arms up or pull your pull your body up so older people or people who aren't so sure-footed they're going to find that really really comfortable and also transiting from shore to the boat i got a swim shower just here I got shore power just here. More flexi teak running out the back and through the middle here. Grab handles on either side. A couple other little things worth noting because many ribs are missing this. Cleats, a lot of ribs don't have decent cleats. So we've got cleats down the back here and cleats up the front. For size, yep, pretty big, that's comfy. And you could also load that up with cushions and I feel like people would probably sit like this quite comfortably underway. So you know what? You probably would do that. If you were, if you were running at speed, you might take a few people out of the bow and say you've got five people in this uh, U-shaped seating area here, you'd probably get another four or more out the back here just enjoying the ride. Imagine that. Imagine going out to Whitehaven Beach from Hamo or something on a nice warm day out here. That, I just can't think of anything better. That'd be awesome. So uh, maybe you guys come back and look forward and then I'm gonna show you what we can find here. Cause once you get to your destination, you're gonna be hungry. So you need a Barbie and we have one. We've got a nice little sink here. That looks like cold water only. We have a, an electric Barbie that's gonna run off an inverter uh, from the battery. Um, so that's a good little setup there. And then this can fold down and be utilized as a prep station when you need it. A decent size fridge just here, that's gonna be a 12 volt fridge and you can put quite a few drinks in there and I reckon you might even be able to, well you can definitely lie bottles down, you may be able to stand some bottles up as well. Um, I can see some courtesy lights dotting their way around the cockpit here so you can have this whole floor illuminated at night time without interfering with the driver's visibility. We've got matching lockers here and here, and they got nice, this timber surrounds a nice touch. I like this. So that's good there. The other thing, because this stainless is so well built and dotted around the place, it, it gives you a good handhold. So if you've got older people on board, there's, 
you're never uh, struggling for something to hold on to, which is, which is kind of cool. Although, and you must watch the test drive, which is a separate video to this, um, it's a big stable platform. This is not a boat that you're gonna fall off. It's not a boat that throws water over the side. So that's not really a concern, but you got it there if you need it. So come a little bit closer and let's have a look at the helm before we go downstairs. Um, it's, it's a standing helm and it's a social helm. So whoever, you know, uh, a guest can be sitting up here, turning around, holding on here like that. That's all very comfortable. And then the driver, um, you've got really good access. You can step out to the side and then step out to this side. I also found it to be equally comfortable with the bolster down and the access wasn't an issue whatsoever. You could be uh, bigger or smaller blokes and it caters for all sizes because you've got this little step here and standing, you know, I've got quite a lot of headroom and from a visibility perspective, um, you've got no issues whatsoever. We're gonna have to rush this walk through because we've started drifting. Um, <laughs> so, so let's quickly finish this. <laughs> um, now, in terms of the details on the helm itself, I'm gonna cover that in the test drive, but we'll quickly go downstairs and have a look with me now. Come on down. Because we've got a beautiful sleeping cabin just down here. So this is a, a great big double bed. There's storage underneath. We've got little storage nooks on either side. We have an electric macerator toilet just here, and then more storage lockers all dotted around, access to the fuel tank, and your power board just here, and two more opening windows on either side. Okay, so here are both motors. And as you can see, Yamaha, not Yanma. Diesel, beautifully serviced. We've got all the history on these engines. I'm happy to talk to you about that in more detail, but the engine bay, it's quite spacious. So you're not gonna have any issues with getting access to either side of each motor because if I just pan around here, you can see you've got all this space in here with our fuel filters, raw water intake, everything's nice, easily accessible. And you can also see some of the construction of the hull uh, in terms of the ribs fore and aft of the hull itself. So check that out. And we've got two worm drive hatch lifts to open up this insulated hatch, which is underneath the sun lounge just there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I certainly did. So if you're someone who's looking for a highly capable tender, a highly capable day boat, an extremely capable support boat, or just a, a full on activity fun machine, um, I think you need to consider this Sax 42. You know, this thing ticks so many boxes it's not funny. And for the price point we're at, and the style and size of boat that you've got, I really think this, is, this thing is, you know, it's unbeatable in terms of value. My name's Dan Jones, this has been The Boat Brokerage. If you want to see the test drive video, follow the link in the description somewhere in the video, because that's coming, if it's not already online, it will be very soon. This boat, it is living up on the Gold Coast. Inspections really by appointment only, and I don't expect this to last long. Most boats are selling uh, virtually quite quickly at the moment. So if it's something you're interested in, get in touch. Be happy to have a chat with you and uh, take it from there. See you on the next one.